Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. And today I wanted to share with you 10 Japanese books to read in 2020. So some of these books have already been published and some of them are still awaiting their publication, but I am incredibly excited about all of them and I want to buy and find them one day and read them. And so I wanted to share these books with you. So the first book I wanted to talk to you about is Sachiko by Endo Shusaku. And Endo Shusaku, he is a Christian author. Japanese Christian author, and that's why this is the topic he explores in his writing. This particular book, Sachiko, is set in the period from 1930 till 1945. Christians were persecuted and accused of disloyalty to their country. And we follow a story of a couple of young people who are in love, they're Japanese, and a Polish priest who used to be a missionary in Nagasaki, but now he has returned to Poland and he was arrested by the police and was sent to Auschwitz. So, so from what I gather from the uh, synopsis of the book, we will follow like interchangeably stories of these three people. Uh, so the couple trying to live their life and trying to stay religious and live in accordance with their faith during this war time and the experience of the priest in Auschwitz. The situation for the Japanese couple also becomes a little bit more severe when the guy is requested to join the army and again this is a dilemma for him. Killing and murder in religion is a sin and at the same time he is forced by the government to join so there's going to be moral dilemma for him and the book sounds incredible and very deep and interesting and i would absolutely love to read it next book i wanted to talk about is breasts and eggs by miko kawakami and this book deals with such problems as female identity and female body. I feel like it's going to be like a very Japanese type of book when nothing, not much is really happening, even though I'm not re I haven't read it yet, obviously. But just from what I see from the synopsis, there's going to be just the meeting, like a conversation between the narrator, her sister and her sister's daughter, and they're going to discuss their struggles and like what is happening to them. The narrator is considering uh, artificial insemination, and this book opens up such a discussion as reproductive rights in current Japan, which I am not absolutely not familiar with this topic, like I know nothing about. <laughs> it is supposed to be written with humor and topics such as identity and female body, in, in, and even those reproductive rights are fascinating to me and very interesting and I would like to read this book and I feel like it's going to be very special. Next book sounds absolutely brilliant and I just I just know that I really want to read it and this is Where the Wild Ladies Are by Aoko Matsuda. This is a collection of short stories and these short stories are actually retellings of traditional Japanese tales, and not just any tales, ghost tales, but with a contemporary twist, so all of the stories are set in a contemporary world, and they, again, they deal with feminism and like femininity and women, women experiences in current climate Japan. Must be something extraordinary. Also Aoko Matsuda is a very famous author and very beloved, so I know that I really want to read this book. Next book is a detective story and it is called The Inogami Curse by Seishi Yukamizo. And in this story we follow a young detective who is trying to solve a slowly growing string of murders which were committed by Inugami clan and along the way he discovers dark secrets of the clan. So this is a detective story by a Japanese author which I also like I want to discover this genre by of like a detective by Asian authors. <laughs> it's not exactly a genre, right? <laughs> Part of literature. So I'm also excited about this book. Next book is also a very exciting one, and this is Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. So in the beginning of this year, I have read Convenience Store Woman by this author, and I absolutely adored it. It was so different, unique, and I just, I loved it. The main protagonist, Keiko, she was just everything. She was funny, but also, you know, going through hard time and she was very different as a protagonist and I found her 
story very interesting. In her new book we follow a story of two cousins and wh when they were kids they were convinced that they were either witches or aliens. However, now we follow one of them being already a grown-up woman and returning back to her hometown and reuniting with her cousin. From what the synopsis, synopsis says, that it's not as simple of a story as it sounds because it also explores such topics as mental illness and emotional abuse. I expect Saiko Murata to pleasantly surprise me again this year with her new book and I'm very excited about it. Next book, to be honest, sounds brilliant as well. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just very excited about all of these books. And the book is there is no such thing as an easy job by Kiku Kotsumura. And in this book, our young protagonist is looking for an easy job somewhere around her house and she ends up working like advertisement or for like taking pictures or like selling rice cakes. However, all of these jobs come with shortcomings and lots of hilarious and funny situations and they leave her unsatisfied and eventually she realizes that she is looking for something a little bit more meaningful in life. It just sounds brilliant, it, it sounds very interesting and also like just speaks to me, so I also really want <laughs> to read this book as well. I don't know, I just want to read all of this book that I'm talking about today. <laughs> Next book is Spark by Naoki Matayoshi. In this story we follow two comedians, one of them is a beginner stand-up comedian in genre manzai. Manzai, as far as I know, is like a traditional Japanese style of stand-up comedy and he meets up, meets this other person who becomes his mentor and takes him under his wing and together they set out on this drunken romp of the comedy from what it says in the synopsis. <laughs> so, I think it's going to be something just funny. Also, I will be able to learn something about the genre of manzai, which I personally don't know anything about. <laughs> Next book is The Hole by Hiroko Oyamada, and this book is supposed to be something weird because the way they just describe it, it's like Japanese answer to Kafka. <laughs> this is a story of a woman who quits from her job, moves to a countryside, meets some strange people and falls into a hole. <laughs> like this is literally what the synopsis tells you. And yeah, I guess it's supposed to be something weird and I am intrigued. <laughs> One more book is Chronicles of Lord Asunaro by Kanji Hanawa and this book follows the story of an of a real historical figure in Japan, Lord Asunaro. He was born into a very wealthy family of warlords, however, the time he was born was a peaceful time, and even though he was fascinated with war as a child, there is nowhere actually to fight for him. He inherits uh, the wealth of his family and he just kind of lives a quiet life enjoys enjoys women, enjoys his wealth, probably just going to be an account of his life. Also, the story is very short, it's like 70 pages, so yeah. But I would like to learn also history, Japanese history. And the last book I'm sure a lot of you will recognize because it is Kiki's Delivery Service. This book was written by a Japanese author. Her name is Eiko Kadena and the book was written in 1985. I'm sure a lot of you have already watched the Ghibli movie, a lot of you probably already love the movie and maybe you will be also excited about the book just as much as I am because I really really like that animation and I want to read the original book. So looking forward to that also very much. And there you have it guys, all 10 new Japanese books to read in 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you want to read some of these books, if you are interested in them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying safe, having a very good day, and I will see you soon in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.